Hi, I'm Albert from SMA Australia and today we'll be installing the SMA backup box. First up, we'll be installing our SMA backup box wall bracket. When installing the bracket, make sure you've got the correct orientation and ensure you'll leave enough clearance for the inverter above. So now we're ready to install our backup box. So the bracket has locating hooks. So we'll just hold it above, tight against the wall, and then it will fall down into position. We must ensure we attach the locating screw at the top to secure it. To open the backup box, it's a push to close, push to open. So just push on the left hand side, and then it will release and swing open. To gain access behind the panel, there's four T20 screws in each corner, which need to be removed. As you can see here, the SMA backup box comes pre-wired from the factory. And if you'd like a little bit more room to move, you can remove this door by simply pinching the two pins of the hinge together, like so. Now we can demonstrate how you'd connect this to your SBSE. The first step in wiring the backup box to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy will be to punch out the provided holes to fit our cable glands. In this case, we've fitted three. So we'll bring our AC in from the inverter, ensuring that we get uh, inverter active, inverter neutral, and then terminating into the earth in the middle here. As you can see, we've now connected the AC from our backup box to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy. The second connection from the backup box to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy will be the sensor cable. As you can see, we've removed the top cover and also removed the cover over the communication area. You will require a small termination plug, which is in the accessory pack of the Sunny Boy Smart Energy to make this connection. Now with our sensor wire connected to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy, we'll make the connection into the backup box. With this termination, we must ensure the red wire goes to the bottom left, as seen here, with the white wire to the top left, as seen here. The third and final connection from the backup box to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy are these control wires. They'll pass through the gland at the rear entry here, and they'll be terminating into these two terminals to the left of the existing earth. Now we'll terminate the control wires into the backup box. Keeping close attention here, we'll terminate this brown wire next to the red wire in this terminal, and our blue wire will be terminating next to our white wire there. So the control wires will be next to the sensor wires. Our next connection into the backup box will be for our loads. In this case, we've wired our entire load back to the switchboard, but you do have some dedicated space here on this DIN rail and you can have dedicated breakers for specific loads. When terminating this connection, just be mindful of the load neutral and load active, as well as selecting an appropriate earth. Broadly speaking, ensure that you size your cables appropriately for the load. Now our final connection to the backup box will be our supply from the switchboard. These cables here will be terminating into our active, neutral and earth. Now with our final connections made, we can reinstall the cover and the front door. And that's it. Thanks everyone for watching the installation of the SMA backup box.